Hey, magandang buhay. So, ako si Sir Ben at narito ako upang i-discuss sa iyo yung parts ng graph ng isang parabola, paano i-identify yung, yung coordinates ng foci, coordinates ng vertices, coordinates ng center, equation ng asymptotes, saka paano nga ba i-express yung equation ng hyperbola from general form to standard form. Okay? So, ready ka na? Great. So, ang hyperbola, dalawa yan. Pwede siyang nakaiga or pwede siyang nakatayo. Ha -ha, parehas lang naman sila. Parehas lang naman yung parts nila. Okay? So, focus lang tayo sa pahigang hyperbola. Almost parehas pa rin naman yung mga parts niya sa ellipse. May foci tayo. Okay? May foci, may vertices. Meron pa rin tayo yung co-vertices. At nandun pa rin naman yung center. Ano yung bago dito? Yung blue line, blue line segment, red line segment, at sa aking asymptote natin. Yung blue line segment natin dito, yung tinatawag natin na transverse axis, ito yung nagdidikta kung pahiga or patayo ang ating hyperbola. Okay? Yung transverse axis, it passes through the center of the hyperbola, tapos yung endpoints niya, yun yung mga vertices. Okay? Yung color red na line segment naman na nakikita nyo sa screen, ito naman yung ating conjugate axis na kung saan, parehas na dumadaan sa center, kaparehas lang yung transverse na, dumadaan din siya sa center, yun nga lang, yung endpoint niya is yung co-vertices. Yung asymptote naman, ito. Okay, ito yung line na, Um, papalapit lang ng papalapit sa ating hyperbola pero it will not intersect the hyperbola. Okay? So kapag ka nakaiga yung ating hyperbola, ito yung equation natin. Okay? Ang pinaka-clue mo lang yun dito is since nagma-minus tayo dito, yung minuend mo nandun yung x. Kapag ka nakatayo naman siya, same parts lang naman siya. Okay? Kapag ka nakatayo naman, ito yung equation. Doon naman sa minuend, nandun yung y. Okay? So let's start. Doon naman tayo sa mga examples natin. So, say for example, we have the quantity of x minus 2 squared all over 144 minus y squared over 25 is equal to 1. Goal natin dito, ma-identify yung coordinates ng center, coordinates ng vertices, coordinates ng foci, coordinates ng co-vertices, at saka yung equation ng asymptotes natin. Okay, yung equation ng, ng line ng asymptote natin. Okay? So, first, center. Madaling-madaling ma-identify yung center dito. Bakit? Just simply looking at it, you can already identify that the center is at 2, 0. Next, um, doon sa minuend natin, nandun yung letter X, ibig sabihin, ibig sabihin nun, yung transverse axis natin is horizontal. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, dito, dito dadaan yung foci, yung foci na, yung, hindi naman dadaan, pero yung foci at saka yung uh, vertices na magkaka-align sila. Okay? Collinear sila. No? Now, identify natin yung value ng A, value ng B, at saka value ng C. Take note, yung A squared natin, 144. Definitely, A is 12. Next, yung B squared naman natin is 25. Therefore, B is 5. How do I identify C? Um, hindi siya kaparehas ng sa ellipse. For us to identify the value of C sa hyperbola, C will be equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. No? Substitute lang natin. Siyempre, yung A squared is 144 and yung B squared is 25. Okay? So, simplifying that one and we will get 13. So, yung concept ng A, B, and C sa ellipse, parehas lang siya dito. Okay? Ngayon, sa A, for us to identify the vertices of, or the coordinates of the vertices, ganito siya, no? Starting from the center, ang galaw natin is pakaliwa or pakanan, pakaliwa and pakanan kasi nasa horizontal yung ating transverse axis. Okay? So, starting from the center, gagalaw ka ng 12 units to the right and 12 units to the left para ma-identify mo yung coordinates ng ating vertices. So, in that case, ito yung mga vertices natin. Okay? Next, yung B, which is 5, ang galaw naman nito is up, and down lang naman yan. So, ibig sabihin, starting from the center, move 5 units uh, upward and 5 units downward. Yun na yun, yun na ngayon yung magiging endpoints ng ating conjugate axis. So, ito na ngayon yung uh, coordinates niya. Last is yung letter C, yung foci natin. Yung foci naman, again, left and right yung galawan niya. So, 13 units to the right, 13 units to the left, starting from the center. So, yung coordinates ng foci natin is, ito naman siya. Okay? So, Kumbaga, parehas pa rin naman siya sa ellipse. How do, we, how do we identify yung equation ng ating asymptotes? Ito. I-equate ko lang yung x minus 2 squared all over 144 sa y squared over 25. As you can see on our screen. Ang next na gagawin ko ngayon dito is i-square ko sila. Okay? So, pag in-square natin yan, ito ilalabas. Next, ang gusto ko, yung equation of the line is nasa slope-intercept form. So, i-isolate natin yung y. How? Multiply 5 on both sides of the equation. Ay, ayun nga siya. So, syempre gusto ko nasa y, yung form niya, y is equal to mx plus b. Balik rin lang natin yung pwesto ha. So, kumbaga, commutative property of equality. Ayan siya. 
So, syempre dahil slope intercept form, gawin natin dito, i-distribute mo lang una, gamitin mo yung positive 5 over 12, distribute mo, yung pangalawa naman, negative 5 over 12. Okay, yun yung i-distribute mo naman. So, yung equation ng ating asymptotes is, eto sila. Okay? Next example tayo. We have x squared minus y squared plus 6x plus 2y plus 4 is equal to 0. So, nasa general form siya. So, first things first, gawin natin siyang standard form. How? Gawin ko niyan dito is lahat ng may letters nasa isang side, lahat ng walang letters nasa isang side naman. For me to, uh, to achieve that one, I am going to add negative 4 on both sides of the equation. Tapos kung mapapansin nyo, pinagsama ko na rin yung mga x's, pinagsama ko na rin yung mga y's. Groupings natin sila. Ayan siya. Take note ha, balikan natin yun ha. Take note na, no. so, kung igugroup natin ito, factor out natin yung negative. So ibig sabihin na pag factor out yung negative, positive na ito, ito magiging negative. Okay? Common mistakes yan. Next, so completing the square, so mag ko ng uh, 9 dito, dito naman mag ko ng 1. Ayun siya. Sir Ben, bakit may minus 1 doon? Akala ko ba nag ka ng 1? Yes, nag ko ng 1 dito sa loob, pero dito sa left side ng equation, ibig sabihin no, nag ko ng negative 1. Kaya meron tayong negative 1 doon. Simplifying this one, this would be x plus 3 squared. Ito naman, y minus 1 squared. Yung dito naman, this will be 4. Siyempre, divide both sides, uh, both sides of the equation by 4. Ayan siya. So, in this case, ito yung magiging standard form natin. Okay? So, dito pa lang, alam na natin yung center. The center is at 3, or negative 3, 1. Tapos, ang ating transverse axis is nasa, uh, ating transverse axis is horizontal. Kasi, doon sa minuet natin, nandun yung letter X. Okay? So, center natin is negative 3, 1, and horizontal siya. Identify natin yung A. So, A is, since A squared is 4, then A is 2. B squared is 4, then B is 2. Ayan siya. So, again, same concept lang naman sa pagkuha ng vertices, yung coordinates ng vertices natin, at saka yung coordinates ng co-vertices natin. Yung movement, lagi ha, since horizontal to, no? Starting from the center, 2 units going to the right, 2 units going to the left. Kaya ito yung nakuha nating uh, vertices, yung coordinates ng vertices natin. Pagdating naman sa B, co-vertices naman yan ito, 2 units going up, 2 units going down. Okay, kaya ito yung lumabas. For the value of C, again, paano kinukuha yung value ng C? That is A squared plus B squared. And doing that one, ito yung makukuha nating value ng C. 2 square root of 2. Kasi, ito yung, ano eh, ito yung A squared, ito yung B squared. So, 4 plus 4 is 8. No? So, for us to identify yung coordinates ng foci natin, mag a tayo ng 2 square root of 2 units or mag move tayo ng 2 square root of 2 units going to the right of the center and going to the left of the center. Okay? So, negative 3 plus 2 square root of 2 tapos 1 and then negative 3 minus 2 square root of 2 tapos 1. Okay? Ngayon, how do we identify the equation of the asymptote? So, ganun din. Equate ko to. Ito, yung x plus 3 squared all over 4. E Equate ko siya sa y minus 1 squared all over 4. Okay, take the square root of both sides. Ayan siya. Tapos, since parehong denominator yung 2, i-omit na natin sila. So, we will have positive negative x plus 3 is equal to y minus 1. Okay? Ngayon, isolate natin yung y. So, I'm going to add 1 on both sides. Ayan siya. So, ayusin lang natin yung nasa ito. Gusto ko yung y nasa left side. Ayan siya. Ngayon, since dalawang equation natin, pwede mo naman i-distribute yung positive at saka yung negative dito. So, bali mangyayari, 1 plus x plus 3, yung isa, yung pangalawa naman, 1 minus x minus 3. So, yung equation ng ating asymptotes will be, I think first, y is equal to x plus 4, and then yung pangalawa naman is y is equal to negative x minus 2. Okay? Last example tayo. We have x squared minus 4y squared plus 8x minus 8y plus 16 is equal to 0. Same process, kagaya ng ginawa ko doon sa example number 2. Yung lahat ng x, pagsamayin ko na siya. Yung lahat ng y, pagsamayin ko na siya. Tapos yung walang letter, nakasama, lipat ko na siya sa kabila. So for me to, uh, to uh, achieve that one, I am going to add negative 16 on both sides. Okay? So again, group na natin sila. Don't forget, no? Yung negative. Huwag kakalimutan yun, no? Then next, factor out ko na yung 4 dito para maging y squared plus 2y na lang ito. Okay? And then, completing the square tayo. So mag a ko ng 16 dito. Dito naman, uh, mag a ko ng 16. Dito naman, mag a ko ng y. Pagdating doon sa kanan, plus 16, minus 4 tayo nun. Okay? Next, so this will become x plus 4 squared. Ito naman, magiging y plus 1 squared. Dito naman, negative 4 na lang yung matitira. Ayan siya. So, ang gagawin ko niya dito, divide both sides by negative, uh, negative 1 muna. Gusto ko maging positive na muna to. 
So, isayin lang natin siya. Gawin kong positive mo na to. So, gagawin ko siyang, ayan siya. So, from from kanina, dinibite ko lang yung buong equation by negative 1. Ayan siya. Ngayon, since naka-negative na ito, tapos ito yung positive, pagbalik na rin natin yung pwesto. Okay? Ayan na. So, next na gagawin natin yan, dyan na tayo magdi-divide ng 4 on both sides of the equation. Kasi ang laging goal natin is, kailangan maging equal lagi sa 1. Okay? So, this one will be y plus 1 squared. Ito naman, still the same. Ito magiging 1. So, dito, ma-identify na natin. So, kung baga, ito na yung standard form. No? So, dito pala ma-identify na natin ano yung center sa nasa yung transverse axis natin kung vertical ba siya or horizontal. First, yung ating center is negative 1, negative 4. Yung ating transverse axis is vertical. Bakit? Nasa minuend natin yung y. So, vertical siya. Okay? So, baka nagtataka pa, paano naging standard form yan, Sir Ben. May over 1 tayo dito. Okay? Next, identify na natin yung a, b, and c. Yung value ng a natin is 1. Sir Ben, bakit? Kasi yung a squared is 1. Okay? Yung b naman natin is 2. Simply because yung b squared natin is 4. Ngayon, ayan siya, no? So yung vertex natin, for us to identify, paras lang, paras lang, um, ever since the first example natin. Starting from the center, since vertical naman ngayon dito, ang movement naman natin from center papunta sa coordinates ng ating... Um, vertices is up and down naman siya. Okay, so starting from the center, one unit going up, one unit going down. As you can see, ito yung nakuha nating vertices, uh, coordinates ng ating vertices. Okay? Tapos dito naman sa B, ito yung endpoints ng ating conjugate axis. So ang movement naman niya, pakaliwa, pakanan. Okay? So two units to the right, two units to the left, starting from the center. Okay, so this will be, so negative 4 plus 2, at saka negative 4 minus 2 tayo nun. Ayan siya. Sa foci naman natin, again, yung value ng para makuha yung coordinates ng foci, identify muna natin yung C. Ano yung value ng C? That is um, A squared plus B squared. So, that would be 1 plus 4. So, we will get square root of 5. So, starting from the center, uh, ang movement natin going up and going down, 5 units. Okay? So, ayun ngayon siya. Ngayon, para sa ating asymptotes, again, equate itong dalawa. Yung Y plus 1 squared at saka ito. I-equate ko sila. As you can see on our screen. Take the square root of both sides of the equation. Ayan siya. Tapos, um, isolate natin yung y. So, I'm going to add negative 1 on both sides. Tapos, um, simplify natin ito. No? I simplify natin. So, this can be negative 1 plus x over 2 plus 2. Yung isa naman is negative 1 minus x over 2 minus 2. So, yung simplified form niya, ito na sila. Okay? So, again, um, yung concept, yung pagsasolve, almost the same siya sa ellipse. Ano yung mga pinagkaiba? Yung concept kasi ng A, B, and C, parehas lang. Yung movement, parehas lang sila, di ba? Anong pinagkaiba sa pagkukumpit ng C? Dito, it is the square root of A squared plus B squared. At saka dito, meron tayong kinukuha na na asymptote. Okay? So, again, madali lang siya. Kapag ka na-master mo yung ellipse, I am pretty sure, master mo, mamamaster mo rin agad yung topic na to. And with that, maraming salamat sa pagkikinig and magandang buhay.